a lot of people are reacting to the 49ers losing three games in a row and recently falling to the Bengals. And of course, we are going to hear from Cowboys defensive end Micah Parsons via his show on Bleacher Report give his take on the San Francisco 49ers Brock Purdy and what's going on with them. Obviously, Micah Parsons did not love the 49ers at all after the 49ers took them down and put 42 points on them. And we heard about what he had to say then. Well, what does Micah Parsons have to say now that the 49ers haven't won a game since that Cowboys victory? Take a listen to what Micah Parsons had to say right here. Things like this happen, right? And and it's always easy to blame the quarterback because when they were winning, it was always... Purdy's the greatest. Mr. Irrelevant is this, this, that, and the other. And it's always a rise and a fall in the NFL, right? At at one point, you're always going to be on top of the mountain, right? Dak Prescott, who's on top of the mountain, and as soon as he had a couple bad games, it was like, oh, we're bringing him back down here. You know, football has a funny way of keeping people humble, right? When people want to go on rants and they think they're bigger than the game and they think they're just better than everyone and they feel like they don't have to do more, You know, tough things happen. And I'm not saying this is an example for San Francisco, but, you know, everyone has to deal with these things in the NFL versus his injuries versus his adversity and things like that because losing three straight and you would be considered a top five NFL team, including the talent that you have, is very difficult to grasp. I mean, I don't even think the Dallas Cowboys could survive if we drop three three straight losses, right? So... I just think San Francisco had to turn it around. Uh, they're battling adversity. I think not having Trent Williams and Debo is really affecting the offense. Uh, two crucial pieces, without a doubt. Um, the protection of Purdy has been down. Um, but also, these are things that we haven't seen from Purdy yet, though. We haven't seen Purdy play from behind. I don't think, you know, it's tough to put yourself in these situations when you haven't been there. I think San Francisco's defense has done a great job of creating turnovers, uh, letting the 49ers run the ball, uh, ding and dunk, uh, not having to really put Purdy in a situation where he has to drop back, where he has to make the quick decisive read, when he has to push down the field. He really hasn't been in those situations, um, especially because, they, like I said, their defense has always played strong. Uh, and it's always good. And, and I mean, it's, and you guys may say, oh, well, he played, you know, the first halves or whatever. But when you have the lead or the score is tied, it's a different game of football. When you're in a must-have-it situation, when you're in a must-score situation, those situations where he really hasn't had to face. Um, and we thought we would see it in a playoff game last year against the Eagles, but he didn't still have he didn't have a chance to face that because of his injury. So I think he's just growing experience. You know, it, it comes with a lot of experience. Um, I definitely think the 49ers will bounce back. They're a great team, uh, without a doubt. I don't think uh we should we should bury them for their three straight losses um, because I do think Kyle Shanahan's a great coach. I do think they have great things. They have great players. And I don't think Nick Bosa and Fred Warner will keep allowing this. I think guys will step up. I think uh, big plays will be made. Um, So let's not, let's not, uh, let's not get too worried about them necessarily. I do think it's something that, you know, it's the NFL. The NFL will find a funny way of humbling you. What did you think of Micah Parsons' assessment of the San Francisco 49ers, the whole situation with Brock Purdy and how they've lost three games in a row and all that type of stuff? Let me know what you guys think about what he had to say in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.